Manu Bernardi, Nabi Reis, Le Noir ou El Shabab, Mama Rebecca, Le Madiol. Je ne sais pas si je suis un homme. Your Excellency Salfakir Mayadid, the President of the Republic of South Sudan, and Commander in Chief of SSPDF, Your Excellency Taban Dengai, Vice President and Chair of the, of the Infrastructure Cluster. Honorable Dinai Chogor, Governor of Jongloy State. Honorable Kwal Manyang Duke, Senior Advisor to His Excellency the President. Honorable State and National Ministers uh, in attendance. Deputy Governor of Central Equatoria. All our medias, ladies and gentlemen, I greet you all in the name of peace and development in all corners of this great nation. Thank you to the President for this great achievement. Mr. President, I wanted to visit the corner of history that what annoyed you with your brothers Kerbino Kwanyin Bol, William Nguyen Bain, Dr. John Grand de Mabir. When you left, especially those of Dr. John Grand de Mabir and, and Kerbino Kwanyin Bol left from Bol, when Senegal Banna sent his troops to board and Ugal Bel Arabi, Ugal Bel Arabi Gal, it will adjust Amshu Tahar Bor. He's not a god. As an Yamil Kalam Zayda. Azel Betakum. Tala William Nguyen from a youth and then you in Malakal with Dengarangbay and you march to the border of Ethiopia very angry then Sudan was asking Mushkilab Tadjunub Shunub the problem of the south today Mr. President the people of South Sudan have witnessed Muskalata Junuk by road Saneta Fatah to Alela. Our development that you have launched, your comrade, Dr. John Garanda Mabur, in his speech, he said, South Sudan have never witnessed a tarmac road scene creation. Yesterday, when I was driving, driving on that road, I feel like I was dreaming. And at the same time, I was feeling like I was driving in Kenya. Because these are the countries which are in doubt with all those things. South Sudan are the least of all the nation of the world. And when I hear South Sudan is being called the poorest of the poorest, I get amazed. Because we have all the resources other nations do not have. 
What only we lack is a unity among us. Mr. President, in your vision of the SPLM, the road was a priority. Was a priority number one, number two, number three, number four. And you have done it now. First, you have launched the road of Juba Terkaka up to uh, Raja. It is happening now because you have opened the first phase. Now you have opened Juba Bor and Bor Ayud Malakal Turan. Now people are not telling you that you are daydreaming. It is now the reality. I think your your dreams are reality. I wanted to tell the people of Bor and Jambule in particular, and especially Bor, you people have to notice something that God has given you, and you have not seen it. God brought Ash, Jipol, Ash Bishop, uh, you call him mature. He came from Ireland with the Church of England, which is Episcopal Church, was established in Malek and crossed the river to the west. This place would be a pilgrimage of, Christ, of, of, uh, of uh, Episcopal Church. The second is the historical war of 1983, which has brought us the independent, was here. The first bullet was in Malwali Chap on the 16th of May, 1983. I have to visit this history because some of us are started to forget very soon. And it is only the few people who have died and the majority are still here. Now I wanted to tell you what will, what will be the benefits of this entire state highway. It is the movement of people, the movement of goods and services will come and also the speedy economic development in our country and particularly in your state and the road has been given to you secondly it will raise the hope of those that the tarmac road or the road have not started they will have hope and say that ours will come what i wanted to tell you be patient it will come our president has dreamt and now the dream continues until when he put the police stop. These things will also bring the community engagement. Community engagement before some of the community used, to, used not to meet. And also there is a problem when the rainy season comes. Some of the community do not get services during the rainy season. Now there will be no complaint. Good and services should move. At the same time also agricultural production should start because you are sure of roads where your proceeds will reach the market quickly. So this road is very important. Last and in my conclusion I wanted to say peace. There is something the SPLM say, peace through development. Now I'm not worried that peace will not come. Because of this development, peace will come. Everybody wanted to come and settle along the road. Everybody want to put their petrol station on the road. Somebody want to put a restaurant. Somebody want to build along this road. Then 
Continue to be your baby. I need to go on to our young village. 